सी आई ई टी एन सी ई आर टी प्रेजेंट ऑडियो बुक संतूर टेक्स्ट बुक ऑफ इंग्लिश फॉर क्लास थ्री चैप्टर इलेवन चंदा मामा काउंट द स्टार्स पेज नंबर वन जीरो नाइन लेट एस रीड चंदा मामा एट टाइम्स राउंड एज अ सर्कल एंड एट टाइम्स डिफरेंट once he started counting the stars 1 2 3 10 21 45 99 100 311 516 890 hmm. 999 page number 110 chanda mama fell asleep the sun peeped out from behind the clouds it was morning chanda mama woke up in the evening he began to count again but he had forgotten where he had stopped by the time he remembered the night was over however he continued to count the stars night after night often he would forget the count page number 111 one night he was very upset he began to cry <laughs> <laughs> What is this? I am never able to complete my counting. On seeing his tears, the son smiled. Don't worry. Why do you cry? I can tell you how many stars are there in the sky. Really? How many? Chanda Mama was surprised. The son replied joyfully, "The number of lovely children is the same as the number of stars in the sky." Chanda Mama was happy. Now the moon came out every night. He would look at the stars. he would look at the children and he would smile happily page number 112 new words round count tears let us think a answer the following one Does the moon look the same every night? Two. What did Chanda Mama try to count? Three. Why did Chanda Mama fell asleep? Four. Who helped Chanda Mama? Five. Complete the sentence. The number of stars in the sky is the same as. fill in the blank b think and say one i call the moon chanda mama what do you call him in your language two chanda mama was not able to count the stars what things can you not count three the moon is visible during the night What can you see in the night sky? Page number one hundred thirteen. Let us learn here and there. Look at the following sentences. We are here on the earth. The moon is there in the sky. I have a sharpener here in my pencil box. the crayons are there in the big box
page number 114. The underlined words in both sentences tell us about the location of sharpener and crayons. The distance of the objects from the speaker helps us in choosing between the words here and there. We use here to tell the location of things that are near us. Similarly, there is used to tell the location of things that are far from us. Fill in the blanks with here or there. One has been done for you. Students are playing kabaddi there. Blank is your shirt. Blank is my bicycle. I went to Chandigarh last year. My brother. This is my bench. I sit. Fill in the blank. With my friends. Page number 115. Let us listen. A. In the story we read that the stars were too many to be counted. Now, your teacher will read out a list of items for you. Put the items in the correct column in the given table. 1. Children in the classroom. 2. Flowers in a garden. 3. Books in the library. 4. Pencils in your pencil box. 5. Fingers on your right hand. 6. Children in your city or town. 7. Pages in your English notebook. 8. The hairs on your head. Two columns have been displayed in the bottom of this page with the headings Can be counted easily and Too many to be counted. There are blank spaces under these headings. Fill them accordingly. Note to the teacher. On the basis of the examples, list more items for children based on local context to sort in the two columns. Repeat the phrases twice or thrice instead of jotting down on the board. Page number 116 Let us write A. It was a full moon night. Children had come out to see the moon. Complete the conversation they had by picking the words from the help box. Govind Wow! Look! Safura The moon looks so big and bright. Sukanya Isn't it? Dhruv my grandfather? Fill in the blank. Ramani. Let us take a picture. Safura. My mother has. Fill in the blank. Dhruv. Come. Stand here and fill in the blank. Govind. The moon is. Fill in the blank. Help box. A camera for the picture. So bright and big, says the full moon looks very beautiful. Let's take a picture. Page number 117 Let us do project work. Wind chimes Let us make wind chimes with the shapes of the moon and the stars. Follow the instructions stepwise. Materials required. 1. Two cardboard sheets. 2. Colored paper. 3. A pair of scissors, child-friendly scissors, to be used under adult supervision. 4. Marker. 5. Thread. 6. Glue. The steps are Step 1. Take a cardboard sheet. Cut a crescent-shaped moon from it as shown in the picture. 
Step 2. Draw stars on cardboard and cut them. Step 3. Use paper to decorate the sun. Step 4. Attach all the above shapes as shown in the picture using thread and glue. Our beautiful wind chimes are ready. Santur, you were just listening to this audiobook, the textbook of English for class 3. Narration, Babla Kocher and Bamta Malkani. Technical coordination, Bati Langlingdo. Sound recordist, Mayank Kumar. Assistance in production, Soumya Malik. Directed and produced by Vimlesh Chaudhary. This audiobook is presented to you by CIET and CERT, New Delhi, India.